Welcome to our channel ladies and gentlemen, where we explore the inspiring stories of leaders who defied Western dominance and fought for the sovereignty and independence of their African nations. In this video, we will delve into the lives of 10 remarkable African leaders who refused to be puppets of the West. Their courage, resilience, and unwavering commitment to their people serve as powerful examples of African agency and the pursuit of self-determination. Throughout this video, we will shed light on the challenges faced by these leaders as they resisted external pressures and safeguarded their nation's interests. Their stories remind us of the importance of embracing our histories, celebrating our cultures, and working towards a future where African nations are empowered and respected on the global stage. Number 10, Muammar Gaddafi, Libya. Gaddafi was the leader of Libya from 1969 to 2011, and he was known for his eccentric personality and his anti-Western stance. He was also a strong supporter of Pan-Africanism and Arab nationalism. Gaddafi's government nationalized key industries and implemented a program of social welfare. He also funded various revolutionary movements around the world. Gaddafi was killed in a coup in 2011 with the backing of the United States and NATO. Number 9, Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe. Mugabe was the leader of Zimbabwe from 1980 to 2017, and he was known for his authoritarian rule and his land reform program. He was also a strong critic of Western imperialism. Mugabe's government nationalized white-owned farms and redistributed them to black peasants. He also implemented several socialist economic policies. Mugabe was a controversial figure, but he is widely respected in Africa for his role in the country's independence movement and his commitment to African sovereignty. Number 8, Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso. Sankara was the president of Burkina Faso from 1983 to 1987, and he is known for his radical socialist policies and his anti-imperialist stance. He was also a strong advocate for women's rights and environmental protection. Sankara's government nationalized key industries and implemented a program of land reform. He also invested heavily in education and healthcare. Sankara was assassinated in a coup in 1987, but he remains a popular figure in Africa for his commitment to social justice and self-determination. Number 7, Samora Marshall, Mozambique. Marshall was the first president of Mozambique, and he is known for his role in the country's independence movement and his socialist economic policies. He was also a strong advocate for non-alignment during the Cold War. Marshall's government nationalized key industries and implemented a program of land reform. He also invested heavily in education and healthcare. Marshall was killed in a plane crash in 1986, but he remains a popular figure in Mozambique. Number 6, Nelson Mandela, South Africa. Mandela was the first black president of South Africa, and he is known for his role in the fight against apartheid. He was imprisoned for 27 years for his activism, but he eventually became a symbol of peace and reconciliation. Mandela's government implemented a program of affirmative action and social justice. He also worked to promote peace and reconciliation between South Africa's black and white communities. Mandela is widely respected around the world for his courage and his commitment to justice and equality. Number 5, Patrice Lumumba, Congo. Lumumba was the first prime minister of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and he is known for his anti-colonial stance and his commitment to pan-Africanism. He was assassinated in 1961 with the backing of the United States and Belgium. Lumumba's government nationalized key industries and sought to unify the Congo. He also refused to allow foreign troops to be stationed in the country. Lumumba is considered to be a martyr for African independence and self-determination. Number 4, Gamal Abdel Nasser, Egypt. Nasser was the second president of Egypt, and he is known for his role in the overthrow of the British-backed monarchy and his pan-Arabist policies. He was also a strong advocate for non-alignment during the Cold War. Nasser's government nationalized key industries and implemented a program of land reform. He also played a leading role in the creation of the non-aligned movement. Nasser was a charismatic and popular leader, and he remains a symbol of Arab nationalism and anti-imperialism. Number 3, Ahmed Seko Touré, Guinea. Touré was the first president of Guinea, and he is known for his radical socialist policies and his anti-colonial stance. He was also a strong advocate for pan-Africanism. Touré's government nationalized all foreign-owned businesses and implemented a one-party state. He also refused to accept aid from the West, which he saw as a form of neo-colonialism. Touré was a controversial figure, 
but he is widely respected in Africa for his commitment to independence and self-determination. Number 2, Julius Nyerere, Tanzania. Nyerere was the first president of Tanzania, and he is known for his role in the country's independence movement and his socialist economic policies. He was also a strong advocate for Pan-Africanism and South-South cooperation. Nyerere's government nationalized key industries and implemented a system of ujamaa, or communal villages. He also invested heavily in education and healthcare. Nyerere was a controversial figure, but he is widely respected in Africa for his commitment to independence and self-determination. Number 1, Kwame Krumah, Ghana. Krumah was the first prime minister and president of Ghana, and he is considered to be one of the founding fathers of African nationalism. He was a staunch advocate for pan-Africanism and self-determination, and he refused to be subservient to the West. Krumah's government nationalized many key industries, including mining and cocoa, and he invested heavily in education and healthcare. He also played a leading role in the formation of the Non-Aligned Movement, a group of countries that sought to remain neutral during the Cold War. Krumah was overthrown in a coup in 1966, but his legacy continues to inspire Africans today. These ten African leaders refused to be the puppets of the West in a variety of ways. They nationalized key industries, implemented socialist economic policies, and pursued non-aligned foreign policies. They also spoke out against Western imperialism and supported revolutionary movements around the world. The stories of these ten African leaders who refuse to be puppets of the West inspire us to challenge the status quo and reclaim our agency as individuals and nations. Their unwavering dedication to the well-being of their people and the fight against external dominance serve as beacons of hope and resilience. As we reflect on their legacies, we must learn from their experiences and take action to promote self-determination and sovereignty. We can support African leaders who prioritize the interests of their people, advocate for fair and equitable international relations, and challenge the narratives that perpetuate Western dominance. By amplifying these stories, raising awareness, and engaging in meaningful dialogue, we can contribute to a more balanced and inclusive global community. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and join the discussion in the comments section below. Share your thoughts on these inspiring leaders and let us know how we can collectively work towards a world where all nations, including those in Africa, can exercise their autonomy and thrive. Together, we can celebrate the unwavering spirit of African leadership and shape a future of empowerment and self-determination.